All right, so I'm all packed up, as you can see, and I got everything ready. So tomorrow is race day, and I'll see you when I wake up tomorrow. So it's 5.40 right now and as you can see it's still dark outside. Uh, kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and we have to wake up super early for the swim meets. I used to wake up at like 3 or 4 o'clock for swim meets. Uh, so yeah, I get very excited in the morning of the race. So I'm very excited right now and ready to go. Okay, wait. Alright, so I know I didn't get as much footage as I would like to because the overall event of a triathlon isn't as sort of peaceful and organized as a swim meet. Uh, you have people everywhere, there's mud everywhere, especially today because it's raining. And then you have to collect your bike, you have to collect your, uh, your bag, your shoes, wash up, all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I didn't really get a lot of time to film and honestly there wasn't much to film as well. So now I just got home and I'll just be talking about the whole race, about the event, uh, without the footage itself. Alright, so first I want to talk about is preparation. I feel like in terms of the preparation before the race, uh, the registration, getting there on time, uh, the warm up, I think all of those stuff could have been better. But, uh, you know, of course, I wasn't well prepared. I got there kind of rushed and uh, I didn't really have, I didn't really know where to go and it was also super early in the morning so it was really dark, you can't really see much. Um, and you know, you had to get yourself registered, uh, put your bag at the bag deposit spot and kind of make sense of where you need to go for each stage. So for example, we are going to come out after your swim, uh, the route that you're going to bike, the route that you're going to run and also the route that you're going to swim. So yeah, I, that, that took me quite a bit of time to do. Uh, also, I didn't really get much time to warm up. I, I just spent like one lap in the, in the ocean. That, that was basically my warm-up. So in terms of preparation, could have definitely been better. So a breakdown of my timings. Uh, overall, the whole sp sprint distance took one hour and three minutes. And the swim was 11 minute 34. Transition one was pretty slow. I fumbled a bit. It was two minute 08. Uh, the cycling was 29 minutes 32. Transition two was slightly faster, but um, still could be improved. It was one minute 35. And then the run was 18 minute 11 for 5k. So uh, definitely not too bad, but definitely a lot of things that I can improve on as well. So in terms of the race, looking at the results, I think it's pretty good. It went really well actually, uh, a lot better than what I expected. I mean, most of these top athletes, the top ranking people are all either national athletes uh, or pros, or they've been doing this thing for like many, many years, up to 10 or 12 years. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not really part of any club as you can see, but overall I got fourth place uh, In terms of my age category, I, I got second place and the first place was uh, Luke Chua if you don't know him He's a national athlete and probably one of the best in Singapore. So yeah uh, Way better than what I expected. So let's talk about some other stuff that I can improve on. So like I said, I can definitely improve on um, my pre-race preparation the warm-up uh, getting there, getting out of registration, and familiarizing myself with the route. But other than that, um, so I've been competing in swimming for many years. So in terms of pacing, I'm quite comfortable with swimming. Uh, I mean, the pacing for swimming. But in terms of cycling and running, I can definitely improve on my pacing a lot more. I think I went too slow on the cycling. The running was fine. The running was okay. But I just think I was going way too slow, uh, way too soft on the pedals for the cycling. So definitely can hit a bit more wattage for the cycling and yeah. Uh, one other thing I think is really important that needs to be improved on is transition. So this includes both both transition one and transition two because um, I didn't realize how important it is until I actually participated in the event, in the race. And during the race, you get tired, uh, you're, you're not really thinking properly and you have jelly legs, everything feels weak 
And yeah, so everything is like messed up and you fumble a lot. And I definitely fumbled a lot. Especially when trying to put my shoes in, trying to uh, get my helmet on properly, stuff like that. So yeah, definitely uh, those three things I'll need to be uh, focusing on in future training. So with that said, um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned for more trainings and more uh, other sports related videos. So in April, I'm going to be competing in the 2XU 5km run. And then in May, I'll be participating in the Sundown Half Marathon. So those are two things that I'm pretty looking forward to, uh, both running events. So I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more run, running with related training and yeah that's pretty much it so make sure you subscribe like and all this stuff and i'll see you in the next video bye